Hey guys, today I am doing a two year review of my Echo SRM 266 trimmer. My name's Aaron and I spent years working in the retail and medical fields and I started this lawn care business because I wanted more family time. I worked a lot of nights and weekends and I was just sick of it. And so now this channel is all about helping lawn care business owners become more efficient so that you have more time for family, free time, and fun. This is the Echo SRM 266 trimmer. I have been using this thing in my lawn care business for the past two years. Now in that time I have only used it really to trim. I haven't done a lot of edging with this. Um, I got out of using a trimmer to edge about two years ago. I bought an Echo PAS 225 system and so I've been using that to edge and I have since upgraded that system to the Echo 2620 PAS system and it works marvelous for edging and it's a lot faster in my opinion so that's why I got away from edging with a string trimmer but I just want to go over my experience with the SRM 266 all right I bought this thing from Home Depot two years ago and I gotta tell you it's a good trimmer it is kind of heavy it's heavy it's I think it's heavier than the 2620 trimmer that I have and um, honestly it, it hasn't affected me either way uh, but it does take a little bit more energy to to use the SRM 266 however it's still a great trimmer now this thing has a lot of power I have used this thing to cut down really tall grass and it it does a phenomenal job guys so right now I have the echo black diamond line in it and this stuff is probably in the top three trimmer lines in my opinion um, it could even be number one but I haven't used every single trimmer line that's out there so this is what I run in it of course it's got the echo speed feed head on it and um, guys if you aren't running these on your trimmers you really need to they're awesome they're the best trimmer head on the market by far even steel guys and and Husqvarna guys switch their trimmer heads to these because they're just so fast and so easy to use you can if this plate uh, this front plate wears out you can buy just the plate and spring that go in here I mean it it's very accessible and you can get them at Home Depot or at a echo dealer they're they're phenomenal so guys I did not take the time to clean this thing up spray it off you know get it nice and shiny for you I want you to get the real picture of what this trimmer is okay this is a workhorse this is not some fancy piece of machinery that you're gonna keep clean all the time it's dirty it's dirty for a reason because it gets used you know I question people that do reviews and their equipment is spanking clean and it's just shiny and nice now I get you want your equipment to look nice I get it but this is a piece of freaking machinery this thing was made to work and work hard and it does it comes through in every situation now I will say it doesn't have as much power as the echo SRM 2620 but I'm telling you what it's still very powerful so I want to start this thing up for you right now just so you can see how it runs a little caveat this is the first time I have gotten this thing out this year it's spring it's 30 degrees out right now I just put gas in it this morning so I did pre-start this trimmer okay and it ran for about five minutes all right I, I'm you know I'm not going to sugarcoat anything for you okay we do honest reviews here there's no there's no getting around that I started this machine earlier today and I, I'm not gonna lie to you here uh, we don't we don't do that here honest reviews are the only way we do a review here all right so I'm priming it got it choked a little burp and voila only takes a few pulls not bad at all guys now again it is pre warmed up it took me about four pulls to get it started today which is awesome because it's we get cold winters here in Michigan so that's an awesome start for any 
two cycle piece of equipment. So guys, a few other things I want to go over on this machine. So late last year, I did a little bit of a tune up on this machine. I used one of these kits from Echo. It's missing a few things though. Uh, it, it, I replaced the fil like the air filter on the 266, so that's not in here. Usually that's right here. Also comes with a spark plug and a fuel filter. Um, these kits you can get at Home Depot, you can get them at your dealer. Echo makes it super simple to tune up your two cycle equipment with these kits. I love these kits, they're awesome because I'm not mechanically inclined, so it gives you everything that you're going to need to do a tune up right here in this kit. It's awesome, I recommend them. They're like 30 bucks I think, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, I don't remember but these are awesome. So guys, I don't have any grass to show you or trim right now. I mean, we still got snow on the ground here. There's a pile of snow right here, right here. So it's 30 degrees out still. Grass isn't growing, so I don't have anything to trim, to show you to trim, but I wanted to get this video out so that you guys can make an informed decision. You know, these things are about 300 bucks, I believe, at Home Depot and they are well worth the money. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention that I just thought of as I was talking is something that I noticed with this machine is in the air filter here. Let me just take it off here real quick. Um, this thing here, it got soaked with fuel this past summer and I, I think I need to replace the carb or something. I, I don't know, but it, it really smells like fuel. And so that's um, something you might want to keep in mind that that might be a problem with the 266. Again, we keep it real here. I'm not, I'm not looking to steer you in the wrong direction. Yes, this has been an awesome machine for me, but this is an issue that I have come across is that the fuel gets into the air filter and it gets soaked. So you might want to think about that. Again, this is a great trimmer. It is like a mid-grade trimmer. It's not necessarily a homeowner unit, but it's not a like a really you know hard nasty professional grade either like the 2620 uh, but I'm telling you this machine will get anything done that you throw at it so if you're looking for an awesome trimmer at a great price the Echo SRM 266 is a great way to go now the SRM 225s are awesome as well I recommend those I still have two SRM 225s in the garage I love them I use them and they're just awesome. So if you guys love equipment reviews and you're look, constantly looking for reviews on equipment for lawn care, check out this playlist right over here. I have done a ton of reviews on different equipment and I would love for you to go check out that playlist and I will see you over in one of those videos.